Hello and welcome to CNM Glass. This is a new technology we have available for doing some teaching. So today we're going to learn how to tell time in the 24-hour clock system. My name is Mary Ann Snow and I teach in the Nursing Assistant Program. We need this for accurate medical documentation. Time is important. It is a part of every data entry on a medical record and there can't be any confusion about what time of day it is. So AM and PM, conventional time, that gets confusing. Um, we don't know whether this is going to be AM or PM. It's required. There's only 12 numbers in that clock system and it must be labeled AM or PM. There's traditionally colons written through those numbers um, between those numbers, between the hour and the minutes. And if we don't get all of that in there, or if we can't read really whether that's AM or PM and we just can't read it, um, there's a lot of confusion. And that kind of confusion can result in medical mistakes. So how do we avoid that? Well, we use a different clock system. So there's 24 numbers. So we don't need AM and PM at all. We just don't need it. And we also do not use colons between the numbers. This helps avoid confusion. It is always important to write legibly, however. Your numbers should look like what they're supposed to. No eights looking like three. And no um, fives looking like twos. They should be quite legible, okay? So basically, your day starts at zero hours, zero, 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 zero. Some people think of this still as 2400, which is midnight, okay? When you get around to 12 again, that is noon. That is the traditional 12 noon. But over here, we don't know what it is because nobody put AM or PM, okay? So after zero, then it simply goes around. All of these uh, times have four digits to them. They, so you'll have a leading zero at um, zero, one hundred. 0, 0,200, 0, 0,300, and on around the clock. See what I said about legible? That's not very legible, is it? So let's make sure that can be seen correctly and read correctly. And zero, nine, that's gonna be nine. We need to fit the eight in there. Okay, now we come to 10 o'clock. No more leading zeros. 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. And then we have 12 noon, okay? Those are all your AM times. Then when you come around to um, your PM times afternoon, you have 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, 2000, 2100, 22, and 23. And at 23, 59, and 59 seconds, if we were taking this out to 
that far or hundredths of a second. Whenever that rolled around to the next full minute, then that becomes a new day and you're back to zero hours. Okay, when it at midnight, you have a new day started. So there is nothing after 2400 ever. The day starts over. So if you are trying to write down 10 minutes after midnight, that's going to look like this, 0010. 45 minutes after midnight is going to look like 0, 0, 45. Okay? Now, an easy way to help you remember um, how to figure out these p.m. times is that once you get around to p.m., all you need to do is take noon and add. So you have 12 noon, and let's say you want to figure out what's 6 o'clock p.m. So you simply add, and you have 1,800 hours. And you just do that for all of your times. And it, that was a simple way for me to learn it when I first learned this time. So in a nutshell, uh, this is a 24-hour clock system required for all medical documentation. Practice it. Use it. Um, you can also cheat sometimes and buy a watch. You can find watches that have um, the um, usual numbers and then the PM numbers printed on the watch, but we don't always have that. So it's a simple system to learn how to do. And actually the rest of the world does use this. This is a time system that's used in business um, because so many businesses are international and this is um, sometimes also called international time because that's, you just use this um, in the business world. It's very common. Okay, so I hope this was helpful and now you know how to document using 24-hour time. Thank you.